much. I just asked, asked Anthony, Anthony to join me because uh, this is right up your alley. Since 2012, uh, Skate to Great collects lightly used hockey equipment from across Canada. All pieces get donated to youth uh, and youth organizations in need. Joining us now is Canadian Paris figure skater and Olympic silver medalist Dylan Moscovich, who is going to tell us more about this. And I said, did you bring your silver medal? And you said, no, no, it's not about me today. But next time you promise to bring I it, right? I promise to bring it in okay, next time. Okay, thank yeah. you. So you have to have me back. <laughs> Absolutely, okay, for sure. Especially when you're doing something great like this. So tell us about the program. Uh, yeah, so it, I've been involved with the program since pretty much it started in 2012. And essentially, uh, the charity works to collect skates, uh, use skates from across the country to help um, underprivileged uh, youth in financial need and also with disabilities to learn to skate and they work in conjunction with other community programs and charities uh, to help you know allocate those skates to people who need them mm -hmm. so they can learn to skate. Talk about the outpouring that you've received since you started this. Yeah well we've we've uh, I think collected over 40,000 skates since we started and it's a f yeah phenomenal. And good condition I would imagine. I, a lot of kids yeah. especially they play for maybe a season and it's you know it's pretty amazing how many extra pairs of skates people collect yeah. over time and and they just sit there doing nothing and this is a great way for young Canadians to learn how to skate and uh, you know which I think is a very Canadian thing to skate whether you're playing hockey whether you're figure skating or you're just recreationally skating you know there's a lot of great things you can learn from the act of skating, you fall down all the time and learn to get up, which is a pretty important life skill. And you sort of paved the way for your siblings because you're the first of four? I'm the oldest of four, yeah. So you inspired the rest of them. We were all skaters. All skaters. Yeah, 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 we were all skaters. I spent the majority of my life on the ice, I would say, for the first 30 odd years I was alive. And uh, I owe most of what I've done in my life to skating. And, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it was my first love, it's my first passion, and uh, I feel very passionately about this cause because it, it's something that's, you know, hits home for me. Uh, for a lot of families, as you mentioned, they just cannot afford it, so they don't even bother. Whether it's just playing hockey, figure skating, or just getting out onto the pond or the neighborhood rink or whatever it might be. Right. I mean, talk about what it was like for you growing up, and when you think of some of these kids who would be or could be great skaters. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you never know that might make the difference. Yeah. Uh, you know, our, our next uh, Patrick Chan or Tessa and Scott might be waiting there and they might never skate and we would never know. Um, but even still, just, just having the opportunity to get out on the ice and experience such a, um, an authentically Canadian activity um, is valuable and, and, and it's special. And I think there are so many skates sitting there that could be used, skates, uh, helmets and sticks we collect. and. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you don't have them, but you know people who do. Well, you definitely do. Your son I have does. a bunch, absolutely, and it just keeps piling up. And we try to give it away to other families because a lot of times, you know, as everyone knows, anyone who has a kid in hockey, hockey is one of the most expensive sports there are. So how do people donate this? Well, skate2great.org on the website, all, that, all the information is there. There's a location at FedEx on Commissioner Street in Toronto. There's another location in Burlington. We're going to be starting two hours before the show tonight at Stars on Ice at Scotiabank. I'm going to be there with uh, the rest of the crew, collecting skates, taking pictures, and uh, across the country at every stop at the Stars on Ice tour, we're going to be collecting skates. Thank you for coming by. Thanks for having me. Okay.